Welcome to BaggotSpots.com. My name is Ryan Baggett, and today I'm going to show you how to create your very own NFC digital business cards. With these digital business cards, all you need to do is just tap someone's phone to share your contact information, provide your cell phone number, you can send them to your website. Anything that you need to do is now done with just a single tap. And today I'm going to show you exactly how you can make yours. Before we get started, there's a few things that you're going to need to have in order for this to work. Number one, you're going to have to have a modern smartphone. I want to say all iPhones, iPhone 7 and up, have the ability to encode an NFC tag. Which leads us to our next requirement. You're going to have to have a blank NFC card if that is what you're after. The card, you can pick these up very cheaply on Amazon. That is exactly where I recommend that you buy your NFC cards. Now, the NFC cards work great if you're using something on your phone like I've got where I can just slide the card right into the back of this pop socket. I'm good to go. I can just tap someone's phone for the most part and someone's going to easily have my contact information. For my restaurant clients, I like to use these kind of stickers because they're going to have both the QR code and NFC technology built right in. NFC is near field communication, and it's similar to the same technology that you've likely used if you've ever used something like Apple Pay. This is what it looks like behind the NFC sticker. And we see this is the actual size of the actual NFC tag. There are also stickers, just like you see here. These stickers will have a adhesive on the back, and you can hide these underneath a tablecloth. You can hide these within experiential artwork, or you can hide these something like under a table if you're at home and you don't want a sticker on your table, but you wanna be able to tap your phone, for example, and change the color of your lights in the, in the kitchen. NFC is going to grow in popularity and its use over time, and I can't wait to see the things that are made with this technology. Now, to print your own cards, the last thing you're gonna need is actually a specialized printer. You're also gonna have to have ink cartridges, okay? You won't have these ink cartridges laying around your house. You will have to order them. To create the business card, we're gonna actually have to have a business card design. So we'll look into that next. So the next thing that we need to do is look at our actual NFC business card design. What I've done is I've included a QR code for those phones that may not have the NFC capability yet. And I've ensured that my canvas size here in Photoshop is a width of 2.13 and a height of 3.38. I'll be using the Badgy printer. I'll link the description in the below to print the business card. We'll hit file, print, and we'll choose the correct layout which will be vertical in my case today and all we do is hit print just place our card inside the printer like th like so it takes just a few seconds to print out one of these cards mind you you've got to flip the card if you want to print front and back i believe this was about the cheapest one that you could buy on amazon if you're number four or five hundred bucks and they got pretty expensive um there's some on Amazon for like $1,200 that I'm sure are much better than this one, but this one works for our purposes. So it looks like we're almost done. I can hear it finishing up. We'll see it pop out here at the bottom here in a second. Boom, perfect. Voila, looks pretty good. Now, let's test it out. To test this out, we're just gonna open up our camera and scan the code and verify it works, and it works exactly as it should. The next thing that we need to do is grab the URL and I do something a little bit differently than probably most people would tell you to do. But what I'm going to tell you to do is grab the URL only after HTTPS colon slash slash, then hit copy. Once this is on your clipboard, you're going to then use the application called NFC tools. Tap that and click right. The next step is to click add a record. And the record that we're going to add is what's on our clipboard, which is a URL. Now, the reason I didn't want you to include the HTTPS colon slash slash prefix is because we can see here it's already included by default. And if you include it down below here, 
it will totally screw up your NFC link and really it'll just be a user error. We're gonna paste the link here and click OK. So the last step guys is to hit right and tap the card. We get the approach an NFC tag success sign. Now the moment of truth, let's test it out. We're gonna just give our phone a quick little tap here. And it's working. Look at that guys. Our digital business card is complete. We've got all the options we want and it couldn't have been any easier. Guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.